Hi, I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices and today Jacob and I are going to show you how to set up ether our Ethernet and Wi-Fi devices. These devices are really pretty easy to set up. The hardware side of it's really uh, pretty easy. I'll give you a few pointers on exactly what to do here. First thing I want to talk about is networking. We at National Control Devices are not necessarily networking experts. We are I.O. and relay control experts. What we have done is we've taken digi modules that have Ethernet connectivity and Wi-Fi connectivity and we've integrated them into our product line. These modules have been great. They've given us really very little problems. So um, the one thing that I have found that works good for me is whenever I'm setting up one of our controllers on a network I like to make sure that that network has an internet connection that really seems to help ground the network it helps to stabilize the IP address assignment of the network which is a lot of problems that our customers have another thing you're really going to want to look out for is if your network has a password or authentication of some sort our controller won't be able to be connected because that password prevents it from getting on. So what I recommend doing is disabling your password or authentication and then also disable the firewalls of your computer while you're doing this initial setup. After you kind of have this set up, it'll be a little bit easier to turn these things on. You can actually log into the modules of these devices and you can program in passwords to get onto networks so you can put your password back up on your network. But for initial setup, make sure and take down that password, take down your firewalls, um, make sure you have internet connection on your network. Anyway, let's go into setting up one of our devices here. What I have here is a Ethernet relay controller. I'm using Ethernet, you could be using Wi-Fi, the setup is virtually identical just the hardware is a little bit different. Um, what I recommend here is take this out of the box. I've got an Ethernet cable here that's coming out of my network and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the Ethernet module and then I'm going to take my power supply that I got here. This is a computer grade regulated 12 volt power supply as all of the power supplies we provide are. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and get my Ethernet controller hooked up. And you'll see initially these first two lights are going to flash really fast. That's normal. That's it communicating with the network. Once it gets on there, they'll go solid. This, this one LED right here just went solid. That means we're all good to go. You're going to want to make sure that the jumper on this controller is in run mode. There's a run program jumper. Make sure you got that switched over to run. And basically hardware-wise, that's about it. You know, like I said, check over those passwords and firewalls and all that. Get your internet connection up and going. It'll help your setup run a lot smoother. And once you get this all set up, you can use the IP address that Jacob will help you find to log into this module and change your IP address. But I really recommend you do not do that initially. Follow this setup, then change your IP address, okay? The biggest problem our customers have is they'll get this controller on the network and then they'll say, well, I'm going to move it to the living room. And they'll unplug it, move it to the living room, plug it back in. All of a sudden, I can't find it on my network. The reason for that is your IP address probably changed. Whenever, whenever this controller initially comes on the network, it's going to search for a random IP address that it can grab onto. And if you disconnect it and reconnect it, it's probably going to grab onto another random IP address. Another thing is, if you add a device onto your network that takes the IP address that this is using, it's going to let that other device have that IP address and it's going to change its IP address. So you could be thinking you're sending commands to this and you're actually sending command to turn on a relay to your printer. So just because you can ping the IP address that you think is right, doesn't mean it's right. You might be pinging a printer or another computer or something like that. 
So at that point, we have a Ethernet troubleshooting video. That's going to help show you how to remove this off your network and get it back up and going. Now, another thing I want to note here, we recommend using one of two ways of communicating to Ethernet devices. Number one is through a virtual COM port, which is extremely simple. The next one is through direct TCP IP communications. So you're basically connecting to this device over the network using an IP address. That can be a little more complex. We have what's called the NCD network component on our website that actually makes it pretty easy to do. You're going to take that IP address that Jacob gives you and you're going to use that to plug into those example programs and it will kind of help you get up and going. But you can't use both. Okay, if you follow Jacob's instructions for creating a virtual COM port using real port, you cannot do direct TCP IP communications. It's impossible because you're going to have two different lines going to the controller and it won't work. So you need to right now decide, am I going to use a virtual COM port to communicate to the device or am I going to do direct TCP IP communications to the device? Make that decision now and then choose which one of the software setup videos you want to use. Jacob's going to make two of them. One of them is for a virtual COM port setup, the other is for direct TCP IP communications. So decide which one you're going to do, watch the video, pay attention to Jacob and he'll get you up and going with software. So that's basically this setup video and I hope you'll come back and see us again soon. Be sure and watch those troubleshooting videos and those software setup videos and you should be just fine. So thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.